Hey, welcome back. I took the long way home so we could have a discussion and, well, because it's the long way home. Besides, I've got an announcement to make. Welcome back and thank you for joining me. Wanted to take this route home because, well, it's far more scenic than the highway and it's a little bit slower so the wind isn't such a problem because I don't want to have to be yelling for this. You know, this is like the third time I've made this video. The first day it was gorgeous out, sunny, beautiful, didn't even have to wear long sleeves. Audio didn't come out. Found out that there was no audio. Second day was miserable, but I got all the audio, I got the video, well, except for one of the cameras dying, but I, I still managed to pull it together. And I got home and I thought, it's really noisy, especially when I'm on the highway. So I decided to try it again. Took a couple of my photo books out to some of the local motorcycle dealerships yesterday to see if I could get them to carry them. That'll be a nice little outlet. Still waiting to hear back on that. But I wanted to talk about careers. And I've seen times when people have hesitated to pick a career because it's almost like it's a life sentence. Like once you pick a career, you can't change it. And that's not necessarily true. A lot of people change careers throughout their lives. So it's not just because you pick something, you can't do anything else. Now in my case, what I picked as a career is paying me rather lucratively. I still have a choice to do something else, but it would be super hard to find something else that's gonna pay me like this. As most of you know, I was in the army and I chose radio repair as my career. And radio repair led into cell phones, which led into computers. And computers have been very good to me for decades. But back probably 20 years ago, I tried to get in the Navy because I was super excited about the opportunity of starting over, just starting with a fresh slate. I was a whole lot more mature than I was in the Army, and I wasn't being forced into it for economic reasons. I actually wanted to join the Navy. And I was excited about the chances. So I went and took my ASVAB again, did really well considering the last time I took it was 18 years prior. Took my physical and I was all set, but I had to get a waiver to get in the Navy because of my reenlistment code coming out of the Army. I was a bad boy. You know, I've always had a rebellious streak. The only difference now is that I've learned to keep my mouth shut a little bit better. So that was pretty much the end of my Navy career. But I was pretty excited really about the opportunity. And I think even then, I probably would have gone in for something like photography. Because even then, I knew I had a big interest in it. I recently ran across a couple guys who did photography in the military and I'm envious. I'm all kinds of envious and it shows in their work. They're absolutely great photographers. Of course, you know, they should be after having the military train them and all the practice and the years they put into it. Of course, even after the military, they've stuck with it, put a lot of time into it. But I'm a little envious of that time and I would love to have the chance to rewrite history. Really not so much rewrite it, but just restart it. Start again. Fresh break. Start over. I mean, I don't really have any regrets over what I did, but I would like an opportunity to have a clean slate, do it again. When I was in my 30s, I probably could have kept up with the with the young bucks and buckets going into the military. Not so sure about now in my 50s. That might kill me, but I'd sure love a chance to try. But I started thinking about it the other day and thinking, how cool would it be to just have an opportunity to start over? Like, I would love to go down to MMI, the motorcycle school down in Orlando. I can't afford it. I can't afford it because I have other debts. I have a job. I'd have to quit my good job, my high paying job. But it would be so fantastic to just start over, fix motorcycles for a living or do photography for a living, to open a second chapter, if you will. And I was wondering what you guys and gals would do if you had the opportunity to just start fresh today, career-wise. I'm not talking about spouses and all that stuff. But career-wise, what would you do if you could just start over? Would you do the same thing you do? And leave a comment below. I mean, what, do you, what have you done for a career? Or what are you doing for a career? And if you could start over, what would you do? And speaking of starting over, this is the big announcement. I know I came on a couple of months ago and talked about splitting the channels out between motorcycles and photography. I have a lot of both audiences here. I don't think I have a lot of overlapping audience with 
serious bikers who are also serious photographers. I mean, I know it's interesting to some people, but I'm always afraid that when I post, say, a photography video, which I want to do more of, I've got that nagging voice in the back of my head thinking, there's a lot of bikers here who really couldn't care less about photography. They're not into it. You know, some are casual photographers, not a lot of people who are going to go out and spend thousands on camera gear. It's just not that important to them. Some people here may not even take pictures. So I feel guilty about that. On the other hand, the channel was always supposed to be about photography and motorcycling and travel and building this business as a semi-pro photographer. And it's really swayed far to the motorcycle side. And that's cool. Y'all are awesome. I'm so glad all of you are here, but I feel guilty every time I post a, a video that's just photography or just video. I know it doesn't apply to everybody. And I got on and I asked your opinion and everybody who responded was great about it. You were like, just keep doing what you're doing. We love it. And you know, if it gets to be too much, we'll tell you. And I appreciate you sticking by me. That's awesome. Unfortunately, the people that didn't respond are the people who aren't here because it's such a mixed bag. So. I decided I'm gonna split it out. Photography to travel and motorcycle travel and events and that kind of thing. I don't think it's gonna impact this channel very much at all, other than it's gonna focus the content a little bit more. There won't be so much stuff that a lot of you really don't care about. So I'm launching the Chris Lasbury Media Channel. I will, from here on out, have a link to the other channel in both channels. So you can cross back and forth. You know, if you dig the motorcycle stuff, please, by all means, stay here. It's not my intention or my plan to cut down on any of the content here. I think it'll actually hone it in a little bit more for you if you're really just here for the motorcycle stuff and for my sparkling commentary. Obviously the motorcycle events, motorcycle travel, when I do get around to doing motorcycle camping, that will all still be here. For the videos that are just photography, lenses, camera gear, different things like that, software, that will all be over on the other channel. So if you're here for the photography piece, you don't really care much about the motorcycles, please by all means subscribe to that one. And really, honestly, if you still want both, you can subscribe to both at no extra charge. I would be perfectly okay with that. It's a little frightening because I'm just afraid that I'm gonna lose subscribers you know, on both channels. Well, really this one, because it's the only one with subscribers on it right now. But I'm, gonna, I'm afraid I'm gonna lose a lot of subscribers because of the change. We don't like change. But I honestly think in the long run, this is gonna be better for the, both channels and for both audiences. You know, a little bump in the road, but I think after this, it's gonna open up both roads. So I really wanna thank everybody who put in their input about whether or not I should split it up. It's not that I'm ignoring you or discounting your advice or your opinion. I absolutely counted it. That's really the only reason I haven't split it up already. But I just think it's time. I think it's time to create two channels and really focus both of them a little bit tighter so I can bring you better content, more of the content that you're looking for on both sides of the spectrum. We've just got a few weeks now before Daytona and I'm really excited about that. Gonna camp out again at Cackleberry for five days. Super excited. Part of what I'm doing down there is working. I'm hoping that I can get enough time off to go over and visit Warhorse. That'd be awesome. I'd like to meet him face to face. No guarantees, but I, I'd really like to try and work that in. You know, I start talking to you guys, and the next thing you know, I'm looking at signs that are like, Canada, what? So listen, I'm pretty much off the good part of the road. Thank you all so much for being here. I appreciate you being here. I appreciate your support all the time. Missed it by that much. I would say if you're gonna unsubscribe, and hopefully you don't, don't do it until after you see the next video. I've got, the other day I went to the Taco Bell and I've got, I got a message in my Facebook and it is, at least for me, kind of life-changing. Most of my family doesn't even know yet. And instead of explaining it a whole bunch of times, I just really want to do it once in a video so I can share it with my family, both by blood and my family online. So I think you'll find it a little bit interesting, at least in music. I feel like a new man. And now with the new channel, I feel like a new man and a half. 
I feel like a new man with a new channel. I'm excited about these changes. I think it's gonna allow me to do some things that I had in mind for a while. But I appreciate you being here. Thank you for that, and I will see you next time. Auf Wiedersehen. Toodles. Ah, sayonara. Arrivederci. Vaya con Dios. Vaya con Dios, my darling. Vaya con Dios, my love. Ciao. Aloha. Der Wiener Schnitzel. No, that's not right. Maybe I'll just leave it at... Bye.